in this module we'll see how women's language position them in communication in discourse in talk we have said in previous modules that uh, language constructs gender it is something constructed and uh, this process starts from our childhood and goes on throughout life how we construct it how we build it we build it through language it means we communicate gender when we talk about it in conversation to understand how we do that how we go through this process of gender construction we have discussed concepts like community speech community community of practices speech events genres frames conversation analysis and speech acts these concepts they come from different disciplines some from anthropology some from sociology some from linguistics these ideas mainly come from anthropological linguistics and feminist pragmatics in the field of anthropological linguistics the main contribution comes from delheims he was the first american uh, that's why in some previous module i said we can call him father of sociolinguistics because he was the person who said we can't study language in isolation of culture so cultural theories that we discussed in anthropology and linguistic theories that we discuss in linguistics both should be combined to understand what language is and how it works the second prominent figure that contributed to this idea of gender construction through language gender building through language is american linguist robin lacker she was the woman uh, who worked on women's language so whenever we talk about women's language definitely we refer to her now what these fields contributed to our understanding of relationship between gender and language let's see that she thinks i mean a robin lacker that women are thought powerless because their language is powerless their language is weak and what are the things which make their language weak one of the feature of weak language is excessive use of tag questions like this it's very funny isn't it isn't it is a tag question she says women are we uh, used to you uh, women are also uh, accustomed to he was eco questions eco questions like this i didn't like the meat b another speaker says you didn't like the meat you eco the words from the previous utterance so such questions are eco questions hedges when you talk you are very cautious you show hesitation lack of certainty lack of commitment to what you want to say for example uh, instead of saying there's a sad story this is strong language a woman says there's a kind of sad story it's probably dinner time instead of saying it's dinner time that is assertion but when you add some uh, adverbs like this it's probably dinner time so that Uh, weakens your language according to robin lack of they use boosters like uh, i am so glad i am so sorry so uh, words like so uh, they are amplifiers boosters intensifiers uh, emphasizers we give them different names they are very indirect for example well i've got the appointment then so actually she didn't want to have appointment at a particular day or time 
So instead of saying that uh, I don't agree with this, she says, uh, well, uh, I've got appointment then. Very indirect way of uh, showing her disagreement. Women are in habit of using diminutives. For example, in Urdu, we say bag and bagicha. A bagicha is diminutive. Kitab, kitabicha, like that. So in English, uh, we have diminutive like horsey uh, for horse, doggy for dog, and so on. So they are in habit of using that. Euphemism. These are expressions which are used mostly by women. Uh, they use such expressions uh, to hide unpleasant things uh, and uh, present them as pleasant. For example, if a dog vomits, so instead of saying that dog vomits, they say that the dog was sick on the new carpet. Terms of address showing respect are frequently used by women. For example, when they uh, address some person, they, they say Mr. Sir, and in Pakistani English, Muhtarma, uh, uh, like that. So we conclude from this explanation in the light of Arab and Lakrift ideas and the ideas we got from uh, Delheims from our previous talks in our previous modules, we conclude that women have weak position in their talk in society because the language they use is weak.